If you've heard about 360 cameras, but you're not exactly sure what they are, this video is perfect for you. In this video, I'll explain it to you without any fancy words or complicated stuff. All the while, I'll be using the Insta360 X3 as an example. By the end, you'll totally get what a 360 camera is, how it works, and why you might want to use one. So, what is a 360 camera? The short answer is this. A 360 camera shoots in all directions at once. You can use that footage to create a square or rectangular video. Just imagine a sphere with a picture stretched out across it. You can choose any square on that sphere and use it for your final outcome. And this opens up so many editing options We'll talk about that later. Or you can simply use the 360 footage directly like people do for virtual reality. There's loads more to it, but how does a 360 camera work? The way a 360 camera works is by using two or more lenses to capture a 360 degree view. It's like having a bunch of different cameras in one and then the camera blends the images to form a 360 degree sphere. Let's talk about the Insta360 X3 for a moment. It's got two lenses that capture over 180 degrees each and then stitches together the images where they overlap. This allows for high quality, seamless video or photos. So now you get how a 360 camera works, but is using one easy? No doubt it's a yes. You don't need any tech skills to capture footage with an Insta360 camera. Just press the shutter button like you would any other camera. It automatically shoots in all directions so you can edit the 360 video on your phone. When you've captured it, you can export the footage as a traditional photo or video format. Perfect for sharing on social media, for instance. However, you can also use that 360 video as is or export it as an equi-rectangular image. Okay, equi-rectangular, what does that mean? Even though it sounds complicated, there's this awesome example of an equi-rectangular projection that pretty much everyone knows, the map of the world. We live on planet Earth, which is shaped like a sphere, but when we look at a map, it's squeezed onto a rectangle. It's the same deal with 360 cameras equi-rectangular image. It's the whole 360 sphere being placed onto a rectangular frame. So why would you use a 360 camera? 360 cameras are a game changer compared to regular cameras. Let's check out a few examples. First, let's talk about reframing. The best part about 360 cameras is that you can totally reframe your footage. So you can take your 360 degree video and make regular rectangular ones that focus on the best bits. In other words, you don't need to aim the camera. You can also show multiple views in one video by switching the camera direction. Reframing is super useful for sharing your videos on social media where people are used to seeing regular rectangular videos. On social video, you'll usually find aspect ratios like nine to 16 for TikTok and Reels, one to one for Instagram or Facebook, or 16 to nine for YouTube. The Insta360 app makes framing all of these a total breeze. So what's an invisible selfie stick and how does that work? Now this is another benefit of a camera like the Insta360 X3. The invisible selfie stick allows you to capture all sorts of creative angles and shots such as third person shots or even fake drone shots without actually having a drone. The stick becomes invisible because it falls in the overlap between the two lenses. Remember that? and it's automatically edited out of the shot. Now, a 360 camera like the X3 also doubles as a regular single lens camera. If you want to use your Insta360 X3 as a traditional camera, you can use the 4K single lens mode. This is just like using a regular action camera and captures traditional rectangular footage. This is great for point of view shots. So when thinking about what to do with your footage, editing is actually much easier than you think. Okay, so you might think editing 360 footage is a challenge, but trust me, it's a piece of cake with the Insta360 app. You can easily edit your footage on your phone, whether it's using viewfinder to aim your phone and reframe, or just swiping and placing keyframes. Editing your 360 footage is simple. There's even a me mode feature that lets you skip the whole reframing thing. It focuses on you the whole time when capturing, meaning you don't need to aim and you don't need to edit either. Beyond that, you can explore Shot Lab for cool effects on your footage. So, are 360 cameras like the X3 worth the hype? 360 cameras can be daunting, 
but they're actually really straightforward to use. Cameras like the Insta360 X3 come with all sorts of easy to use features that are simply impossible with a traditional camera. With the Insta360 app, even a newbie can edit 360 degree footage like a boss. I certainly started out that way. If this sounds like something you want for your setup, check out the links in my video description and maybe these videos from me if you're still wondering. See you on my next video and have fun out there.